let's take a quick little look at my uh, 2018 Peterbilt 389 72 inch flat top it's the uh, old 63 that they now call a 72 if you're familiar uh, 280 inch wheelbase 510 horsepower pack car MX 13 uh, 1850 torque with an 18 speed transmission low pro 22 er, low pro 24s bridge stones all the way around low air leaf suspension disc brakes on all three axles uh, if you're not familiar with the disc brakes they're in most over-the-road applications they're going well over 700,000 miles um, zero maintenance uh, DOT just speaks at them they stop better a lot of reasons for that upgrade 30 inch hodge built quarter fenders dual matching uh, locking toolboxes on both sides six lights in the back of the sleeper see the antenna mount above the window uh, mount it there instead of putting it on the mirrors make it a little cleaner of course the cabin sleeper or air ride chrome stand on the pogo stick Holland air slide fifth wheel since this truck is a 280, it is a single frame. Uh, there's no insert, no double frame, nothing like that. We custom painted the uh, fuel tanks, polished the ends, did these custom straps. I always do locking fuel caps. It's only 17 bucks for a hundred, $17 upgrade for a $120 gas cap, fuel cap. Uh, Phoenix design light kit. Uh, this is the paintable version with the LED lights and it's all on a factory wiring harness. That bundle right there is for extra turn signals if you ever wanted to mount a headache rack or whatever. I went ahead and had the truck pre-wired for that. Uh, that way it's already there. It's just plug and play just like the light kit. Try and make it as easy for you. Try and think as head as far as we can, you know. Uh, polished box on this side, both sides. Painted there, cleaner lights also. Stainless mirrors. 14-inch uh, stainless blind mount drop visor with seven LED roof lights. JJ style headlights. I'm not 100% sure the brand of these. I can find out. Um, but you can tell by the insert it's the nice projector bulb with the LED turn signal great old-school look on this um, love it wish they all looked like that 20 inch blind mount uh, box in bumper recessed license plate polished surround You'll have to forgive me. I don't remember off the top of my head what silver that is. Uh, if you call me or text me, I can tell you. But that's a uh, diamond blue, which has a has a great little metallic to it. Very similar to the Viper blue, if you're familiar with that color. But factory two-tone paint job. Take a quick peek here. Air ride front axle with the uh, dual leveling valves, one on each side, remote lube, heated fuel filter. It's got the insulation package. Um, all the little things that make a difference, you know. Polished def tank cover. Stainless mud flap holders, those are, those are spring loaded, hinged. speaker box under the bunk it's got the built-in amplifier with the 
with a subwoofer. Sounds really nice. There's the control panel, for, you know, from the bunk. We'll, uh, we'll look at that here in just a second. Mirrors are heated and power. Platinum interior uh, in Arctic gray. Get a lot of questions about what these trucks weigh. This truck, 17811 is the stamped weight. Peterbilt will tell you that that'll be pretty accurate within 2% either way. Truck also has keyless entry. It's where the brass tag used to go with the weight on it. They don't do that anymore. Not happy about it. Black leather Atlas seat or Sears leather Atlas seats. These are the the 80 series. It's their their top seat. Chrome stick on top of that 18 speed. Full rosewood dash. All bright bezel gauges. Concert class CD, Bluetooth, hands-free cell phone, all that jazz. Couple spare switches. Dump valve, fifth wheel, inner axle diff lock. Factory CB. Um, you can put this CB in it from the factory and get the surround and all that cheaper than you can buy that CB over the counter. Of course, power windows, locks, and mirrors. Premium mattress. There's a couple versions of the mattress. Always order the nicer one. I would say the driver's seat and the and the mattress are two of the most important pieces of the truck. Definitely not a place to skimp. This closet has the workstation in it with the slide out uh, boxes. You can do hanging folders, clothes, whatever. Obviously, uh, the desktop's the nicest feature. Put your laptop or your tablet on here. Depending on how everything goes, maybe that's where you can do your electronic logs. See the lights and the speakers and control panel for the sleeper. Just a regular hanging closet. Steering wheels leather. Um, columns tilt telescope. Pretty much every option. Um, it's not. It's not missing anything. Again, it's a 280 wheelbase, 336 rear ends, 18 speed, 510 pack car, horsepower pack car. I do sell some pack cars. Uh, the ones I sell, everybody seems to love them. I don't get paid to sell a Cummins over a pack car, or vice versa. A big misconception out there is that a pack car is cheaper than a Cummins and equal horsepower. 500 Cummins versus a 500, 510 pack car. The money is so close, we'll just call it the same. Um, a lot of dealers uh, only have pack cars on their lot, so they'll push that, or they'll only have Cummins, so they'll push that. Uh, there's, there's, pluses and minuses to both sides they're both excellent pieces um, they both just have different places you can tell by the tag weight that I showed you earlier that the pack car does have an advantage on weight um, it is a little bit lighter this 13 liter is a little bit lighter than the 15 liter so there are some advantages there but good piece nonetheless nothing to be afraid of uh, feel free to call me and if you want to talk about that side but
If there's anything else you want to call me or text me about, 918-808-5638. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help you with anything I can. I've got financing, delivery, I take trades. Uh, my used truck lot is bare right now. I could really use some trades, so if you've got anything, let me know. Uh, if you've got anything for sale, let me know. Most we'll, we'll, uh, We buy a lot of trucks, so we buy, when we get the opportunity, we, we buy all the trucks we can, so. Just let me know if I can help you. Uh, call me, text me. Uh, appreciate you guys subscribing. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, everything's under Peterbilt Steve. Um, my face, the Facebook's getting up there in the 20 some thousand. Appreciate you guys. Uh, YouTube's almost there. A lot of fun. Enjoy it. If you've got any suggestions, shoot me an email info at peterbiltsteve.com. Uh, always trying to make these better or not so monotonous. Give me your input, and uh, we'll see what I can do. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.